Tonight at 10, the election is on. The UK will vote on the 4th of July. In a move that took most of his own MPs by surprise, the announcement came from the Prime Minister here in Downing Street this afternoon. Now is the moment for Britain to choose its future, to decide whether we want to build on the progress we have made or risk going back to square one with no plan and no certainty. On the 4th of July, you have the choice. And together, we can stop the chaos, we can turn the page, we can start to rebuild Britain and change our country. Well, it's out of the blue, isn't it? So, so I thought it was the autumn. Well, I'm really pleased to hear that we are having a general election. I think it's about time. Uh, I thought he, was good. he would leave it a bit uh, longer or as long as possible. Well, as campaigning begins for 650 seats here at Westminster, we'll take you through a dramatic day as early rumours turned into a trip to the palace. Over the next 45 minutes, we'll have the view from every UK nation and look at the political battleground as the parties try to capture your vote. Also coming up... Paula Venel's former post office chief executive appears at the inquiry into the scandal, admitting to mistakes and apologising. I fully accept now that the post office... Excuse me. <laughs> And stay with us here on BBC News for continuing coverage and analysis from our team of correspondents in the UK and around the world. Good evening from Downing Street, where we learned this afternoon that a UK general election will take place in six weeks on Thursday, the 4th of July. Rishi Sunak's surprise move came after official figures showed inflation falling again. He says he will fight for every vote, while the Labour leader, Sakir Starmer, said the country was ready for change. On the programme tonight, we'll hear from correspondents across the UK on the key issues and from voters in one particular marginal seat, Bury North. And with campaigning already underway, we'll take you through what to expect in the coming weeks, including how we'll cover the main issues here on the BBC.